Hi guys, and welcome to the Pixie Pearls and Knit Podcast. My name is Sibylla, and I'm your host. Let's see if I can still remember how to do this, because I haven't recorded a proper podcast in about four months. Um, but I currently have a very unique situation where both children are sleeping, so, um, yeah, let's try this, right? Um, I'm coming to you from Aviano, Italy, where I live with my husband, I have our two boys and our two cats. Um, the cats will may or may not pop into this video. Sometimes they just come by and stroll over me and check out what I'm doing. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as Pixie Pearls Knits and on Ravelry as Pixie Pearls and Knit. Um, if so, if you like to see more of what I'm doing, um, that's where I'm mostly active at the moment. Um, I'm currently not recording regular podcasts because my husband is deployed and I just don't have the time with two kids to invest like a day to um, record set up, set up, record and all the things. Um, yes. I'm uh, speaking of the devil, but the cats are here now. <laughs> um, so first things first, usually, um, I want to start with knitting, but I want to say that, um, um, my, my little bubble, um, that I live in, I want my little bubble to be a safe space for everyone and I'm working very hard on providing a safe space on all my platforms on I did real life um, and I'm educating myself as much as I can um, so if you are following me because I'm a white German and specifically for that reason then you are maybe um, at the wrong address you know, because, um, I want to be an ally, you know, I'm anti-racism and I'm working way hard to improve, um, what I can and who I support and things like that. I want to get that out of the way and I wanted to say that. So since I haven't recorded in four months, I have a pile of things to show you that I finished since. Um, so let's, um, get to the fun part. The nitty part. Um, yes. So, like I said, it's a pile and it's falling. Okay, so I've been working on some dishcloths that I'm working with. Uh, I think this is um, Alana Grossa cotton yarn. I'm not 100% certain. It's one of my, the yarns that came from my mom that I took. Um, since I have a bunch of it, I'm making some washcloths or dishcloths now, um, just to use some up because I don't think I'd make a white, a white garment. It's technically sweater quantity. I have two sweater quantities of white cotton yarn in my stash from my mom, but white is not something that I currently wear a lot because I have two little boys. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just doing these as a miter, this, these are two, I made two miter squares and I'm going to see on Ravelry what 100 patterns there are. And then I have socks. I made some Rose City Rollers with Geektastic Fibers Iced Americano colorway. Um, this is leftover stash yarn I had. And I made some vanilla socks with Patton's Croy color. I'm not sure what the colorway is for this one. It's like the purplish black one. Um, and they're just some simple vanilla socks. Someone just woke up. No. Okay. No, he didn't wake up. Um, then the next is also vanilla pair socks. This is um, it picks half brown and the blueberry speckle and their stroll for all heels and toes. It's a glimmer, I think it's foxglove. And another pair of vanilla socks. Alternate picks. Are they right? 
Um, this is Felici in the Harvest colorway, and I did an Afterthought heel. Um, and this is also Stroll. Um, I think the colorway is called Kestrel. And then the last one is some socks in the blueberry waffle pattern. Um, and this is, um, Knit Picks Chroma Twisting Ring in the Drawing Room colorway. And I apologize. I thought this stopped with the construction. I have construction going on in front of the house. And I thought they were done for the day, given that it's 6 o'clock. But apparently they're not. <laughs> so if you can hear this humming noise, that's the construction. I do apologize for it. Then I made, um, a dinosaur. An Ankylosaurus for my voice to play with. Um, and this yarn is Drops. And while I personally probably wouldn't buy Drops yarn, it, this was given to me the yarn, so it was a present. So I used it. Yes. Um, dinosaur. Well loved already, so it's a bit fuzzy. And then... Um, I redid the purple crop top by Jessie Mae Martinson and I used a knit pick stroll in the high tea tonal, the dark pink and the seashell color away and this time it actually fits me properly and I love it and the last time I used a, a blender yarn that just didn't work well I guess I'm back. Someone did wake up and wanted mama. Yeah. So I know I'm going to do this one handed and I apologize if this is not very well anymore. We'll see. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Sit this way. And then I did the My Boy Lollipop um, crop top by Nancy Rissy. And here I used now to cheat. I did write this one now. Uh, Cape May Fiberco in the Aquatic Life. And then the Sugar Pole Cottage. And this, I knit this in like two weeks or something. <gasps> That's how quick that was. And I love it. It's super cute. Um, That's all the things I've worked on. And then I did some spinning. If you saw the vlog, um, I got a draft spindle and I did some spinning and this is my first try um so this is about 25 grams and 75 meters and try to do um pretty fine but it's still very uneven so um I'm gonna try to practice more this okay. is um I've got a drop spindle kit from walnut farm designs and um, I came out to drop spindle and four ounces of fiber and I picked the purple passion colorway so it's like purple and green um yeah I just tried a little bit see how it would work and I find it very very relaxing so um yeah definitely now something I'd like to do and then I currently have two works in progress one is Why you see the cat? Don't give me that attitude. Cat. The eyeball saw by Stephen West. And um yeah, it's getting quite big and I I have it all scrunched up on my needles, so it's very hard to show. Um yes, at the purple here that I'm using is Nitpix Stroll in um, Borealis. The green is Heat Dye Yarn by Ace Melon Stash uh, on her Desmond sock base. Um, I believe it's called Not a Nurse. It's one of her super natural colorways, but I'm reusing the yarn I used. Uh, I wanted to use for it the first time I tried to make the eyeball shawl. And the labels are somewhere. I have them somewhere. I just don't know where. So, um, 
Yeah, and because I didn't write it down properly the first time, now I'm like, what's the color of my name? And then the for the Scalera, I am using Knit Picks Hawthorne and their Italian Ice Cream Speckled colorway. And I am three rows away from finishing this side. And then I can start on the other side. I'm really excited. And I got a cute little stitch marker here from... Oh, it's over here. From the Corner Craft. It's all one of our avocado stitch markers. It's lucky I was able to store one. A score one. And my other work in progress is going to be a hoodie that I'm working on. It's out of one of my old German knitting magazines. Let me see which one this is. Uh, it's one of the online ones. It's a German knitting magazine. Um, it's from summer of 2014. It's like five years old. <laughs> And they have this hoodie in there, and I'm trying to use a lot of my stash yarn up. That was a um, yarn weight for one of the yarns I have. Uh, and it's kind of like a lacy pattern, and I am actually um, um, doing some modifications. And when I put it up on my Ravelry, I'll be putting all the details in. But this is the start of it. And I'm adding ribbing at the bottom and on the sleeves, and I'm going to make a thumb hole. That's the plan. Uh, because otherwise, I don't have enough of one color to just do it in one solid color. So I figured with a bit of ribbing, I would look better. And this yarn I'm using is Lana Grossa that I bought years, years back. Four years back, at least it's at least four years old. Um, so it's Lana Grassa and it's a super bingo. So that's the yarn, and it's 100% merino. And I'm really happy I found a pattern that I like to use up some of the stash yarn because when I started knitting more and crocheting more, I was not necessarily buying yarn. The way you're to, like in, in proper sweater, sweater quantities. I'm like, okay, this looks like it's enough. That's what I used to do. That's not really smart. Now I know better. Now if I buy a sweater quantities, I actually buy a proper sweater quantity. And then I do have some acquisitions to show you guys. Sorry, he's like totally trying to get to the cats. Uh, my friend Amy there, who was Fantastic Fibers, did a sock club um, that was feminist as fuck. And uh, I got the two months origin. And these are the two yarns. Yeah, that's the shoe. This one is Frida, like Frida Kahlo. Inspired. And this one is Uhura. So. Um, start, uh, start. And I'm a really big Star Trek fan, and Uhura is definitely one of my favorite characters in the original series. And I can't wait to start this. And the last acquisition I have is this yarn I bought. It's called Subculture Yarn. And it's their flash mop colorway. And I found it quite interesting. Some sock yarn to try out. And it's 80% um, Blue Face Lester and 20% Nylon. And it comes from Canada. Um, so that's my acquisitions. And then, um, I don't currently have, um, a lot of pre-planned projects. I kind of just see what I'm in the mood for since I'm by myself. Um, it's kind of trying to take it easy as much as I can and not try to plan it too much. Um, so life, life stuff, like I said, we are currently by ourselves, we three. But, um, it's not that bad. We we didn't have any major, major things happening. And I'm saying this, I'm probably jinxing it, so not gonna wait. <laughs> um, yes, um, yeah, we're just enjoying the summer. And, 
Um, I'm taking the boys outside to play a lot so they get all the sunshine and all their energy out. Um, but I'm very excited for fall now and sweater winter. So I don't have much to say today but I really wanted to try to record a little bit before um you know before I forget how to do all of this <laughs> and um hopefully I can I get another chance to record soon if not um this hopefully can continue once my husband is back and I have a bit more knitting time because currently I don't and I'm not stressing about knitting um too much if I can't make it then I can't make it that's just life life happens and um yeah I can't stress myself about that too much okay so with that i will say goodbye and make myself and this little guy some dinner bye